Hey folks, Technivorous here, and if this is your first time around, make sure you smash that subscribe button down below and ring that notification bell so you can get notified when I post new videos. Now, I've been away for a little while, but we are back, and today we're going to give you an intro into something I've been working on over the past couple of weeks that we're going to be dropping pretty soon. So this is a simple Android game I've been developing, and we're going to have some tutorials on the development of this game coming up over the next couple of weeks as well as the actual download link so you can check it out for yourself but today we're just gonna have a quick run through and I'll give you a quick glance at what I've been doing here let me drag the game window over here it's loading cause we're starting it up uh, this is all done with unity and C sharp uh, they have several packages for making Android games that make it really really easy without uh, all the Java coding or getting into uh, some of the IDEs that are made for Android. This is pretty universal. I can make the same game and drop it to Android and the iPhone with pretty much a couple clicks of a button. So uh, This is my main menu for the game. A couple things aren't implemented yet like get skins and options but there are a few that are. You might have noticed the cash out button here. Well basically um, you're going to be earning pennies. Not much. A little bit of money uh, each time you drop the ball here, if you can get your balance up to 20 bucks, you can get a payout from PayPal directly to your PayPal account, and it's not as easy as it sounds, so don't think you're going to make a ton of money, but it is possible, and it is kind of a fun little game. So, let's check out the About section. You can see, again, don't forget to subscribe and become a Technivore, and tells you a little bit about Ship Dropper, and then a link to my YouTube there. Uh, let's check out the game. Now this is still a work in progress. There are a few bugs left, but uh, it's a pretty simple Plinko style game. You spend a couple of cents to drop a coin. It bounces around. The different pegs do different things. If you catch it in the bucket, you get to pocket that money. If you hit an explosive peg, you don't get anything. <laughs> um, you can drop several and hope for the best, but uh, yeah, you still got to catch them to make the money. Uh, like that one there. There we go. So we're up to 21 cents. Um, yeah, it is kind of difficult, but it is possible. Every 10 drops, the level reloads here. Once this coin disappears, we should get a new peg set up. And that's one of those bugs I was talking about. Uh, there are two variables in here. One that keeps track of how many balls you've dropped, and one that keeps track of how many balls have died and I apparently uh, don't have them correlated. The reason I do it that way is because otherwise it would generate the next level as soon as I drop the 10th peg. So um, yeah, a few bugs to fix. We're gonna change out this graphic here and I'm gonna show you the details of a lot of the code. So if you're interested in this little series, make sure you're subscribed and we will dive into Unity coding with C Sharp for Android in the next couple weeks. You're gonna be seeing a lot of this game as it is going to be basically sponsoring the channel here and uh, there will be a link to it in all of my future videos once it's released. Like I said, a few more bugs to work out. We're getting there. Um, and then these are mostly placeholder graphics so we'll be adjusting the UI a little bit as well. So uh, that's going to be it for this video guys. I'll see you in the next one. Technivorous out.